Finn, as we all know, is about to have a baby. Bottled over here like a bloody walrus. You're a cute walrus. Come in. Emily, who's here? It's Sue. Oh, nice of her to show up. How was the funeral? Horrendous. Sue, it's so kind of you to make it. I was ready to go this morning. Your carriage never came to get me. We assumed that you'd be taking your own carriage with Austin. Well, Austin arrived home late last night, and this morning he was indisposed. Ah, uh, unacceptable. I am I'm very sorry to have missed it. Well, thank you, Sue. I didn't know Aunt Lavinia that well, but I um, I always admired her. Everyone did. She was iconic. How are you feeling, Sue? Uh, you look as though you're ready to pop. Yeah, I'm definitely at the point where uh, this isn't fun anymore. Can I get you something? Water? I'd actually love to lie down. I, I know it's a short walk between our two houses, but I feel like I just climbed a mountain. I'm sure. I th well, let's get you upstairs then so you can rest. Yeah, no, yeah, that's so rude. So. You both need to stay down here and say hello to our guests. Well, I really... She'll just rest for a little bit and we'll be ready to entertain. She's missed the funeral. The least she can do is be here for the reception. I can say the same thing of Austin, but where the hell is he? Oh, Edward, it is a woman's job to make sure everybody else is happy at all times, no matter the cost. I'm sorry, but that simply does not apply to men. Sue has every right to feel tired. Just look at her. I don't care if she's the size of Kansas. Mm, thanks. Oh, come on. Everybody loves Kansas. It just became a state. Look, I'll take you upstairs. We'll rest a little. Mom, I'll be right back. Just get you... <sighs>